Hey, 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 happy Friday. How is everybody doing tonight? Friday, Friday. I don't know, I'm a little crazy today. Um, if this is the first time that you are seeing my face, hi, welcome, my name is Courtney Ben's House. I am a lead beauty god with Limelight by Alcone. So, welcome, welcome. Hey guys, I'm gonna really try to do this and not poke my eye out. Um, let me add a girl that wanted me to tag her really quick when I went live for this. Um, I don't want her to miss it. Hope everybody is doing well today. Hey y'all. So I'm gonna really, 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 really try to not poke my eye out. I have another mirror here, so I'll probably be looking into it. Hopefully I can kind of just scoot it enough to where you guys can see because I cannot do it in the phone. I uh, practiced and um, just trying to record a video and doing it in the phone and it didn't work so I thought maybe I could go like this and you guys could still see what I was doing okay so for lash application you really just need a few few things you need scissors because you may have to trim them it depends on the size of your eye I have to trim just a smidge I have small smaller lids um, but some people don't have to trim them at all of course you need your lashes these are number one from KISS. I don't know if you can see them. They're there. They're not like uber dramatic, but they really change the whole look of your face. I like KISS brand a lot. They seem to be easy to work with. Um, I have this other pair tube I haven't opened yet. I'm not going to wear them tonight. Um, they look like they would be good for like boudoir and stuff like that or prom or homecoming. These look really fun for that. So, I like number 11. Um, I don't know. I like these for the price, um, especially if you're just starting out. They're tapered really nice on the end. They don't just stick straight out, and they kind of mimic how an actual eyelash looks when you have them on. So, I'm going to use, like I said, I'm going to use these today. Um, I also use, when I want, like, really, really dramatic lashes. I don't have any right now, but I use um, the Alcom Company lashes from the Alcom Company website. Um, as a beauty god, I get a discount, so I thought I'd try them out because they're the ones that, you know, all the starlets have used for years and years. And they're amazing. They're, um, the pairs that I got were super, super dramatic. <coughs> Excuse me. And now Joey's on here, so he's going to be sending me dad jokes while I'm trying to not glue my eyes shut. It's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> but you really just need your mascara to, to kind of do your bottom lashes and if you want to reuse your lashes you need to put your mascara on your real lashes what I'm going to do right now because I don't plan on reusing these is I'm going to use my mascara to kind of glue them together they kind of will mesh together and you're not going to be able to tell they're on there hopefully when we get them on and then I use the tweezers that they come with to kind of hold them on or you can use just plain metal tweezers um it depends on what you're comfortable using so I'm going to get started. I'm a little nervous to do this um, live. This is my first time doing it live, so let's hope I don't end up poking my eye out or anything like that. So, um, let me get this one off. And they just gently peel off from the product. Just be careful with them. Or the packaging and you can tell which is the inner corner and the outer corner by the length of them they are a little bit shorter on the inside so this one goes on this side and this one's longer so it'll go on the end and when you trim them always I always trim I don't know if this is the correct way to do this but I always trim from the longer end so then my shorter ones still match up over here it just seems to make sense for me so you want to want to dry fit these to make sure that they're going to fit your eye and I kind of just hold them up and see. And they'll kind of just sit. But as you can see, they're a little bit long for my eye down here. So I am going to trim a few of them off on the end. Just a few. And then I'll redraw fit. Go back in and see if they are going to. To lay and that looks like they're gonna lay a lot better and see even with them just laying there look at the difference um, when you have like a dramatic 
smoky eye going on. So to me, they're worth it and they're fun. Like they're not permanent. You don't have to have them every day. I don't know. I just, I like being able to change them up, change the styles. They're kind of just fun to play with. Um, just like any other type of makeup I think is fun. So, um, you also need your glue if I didn't say that earlier. And mine's a hot mess because I'm a hot mess, so. I tend to use Duo Glue. People ask me why I use the one that's white. Um, I like it because where it dries clear, it's white to clear, but I can see where it's going when I'm putting it on. And then where it's not black, if I don't want my eyeliner this thick where it draws clear, then I don't have to commit to wearing a thick eyeliner that day. So that's some of the reasons why I like that. I'll probably go back over it with just a little bit of eyeliner here in just a little bit. But you want to put like the smallest amount of glue. A lot of people make that mistake. They think that they need a ton, a ton of glue and you don't. And I got an air bubble. So be careful with these top where they squeeze out. You can get air bubbles and then the glue's everywhere. Um, well, that's why a lot of people like the ones that have wands and they unscrew like a mascara wand and you just kind of go over it like that. I do put it just a little bit thicker on the both ends and around the center so they hold really well. And you're going to want to let this dry to where it's a little bit tacky. Um, you don't want to stick it right on while it's wet or it's going to slide all over the place. That was some rookie mistakes that I've made so I'm trying to help you guys <laughs> with that. Um, some people fan them, some people blow them. I'm just going to sit here and hold them and talk to you guys. So what is everybody up to tonight? It's Friday. Is anybody doing anything fun? I'm going to go watch Carrier. Obviously, I had my Carrier Rock shirt on. And then my earrings are super cute. I thought they were um, adorable. They're guitar picks. So, I like wearing them to concerts and stuff. Um, I actually got them at a craft bazaar that I was um, set up as a vendor. I want to say back on Easter. So, this should be good. And I'm just going to go for it. It's probably going to be quiet for a minute so I can concentrate. Because <laughs> I cannot talk and do this. So, I've got my other mirror here. And I hope you guys can still see when I go to do this. I think you can. Just going to make sure the band is on. It is. It feels secure. And that's, that's seriously all you do to put a false lash on. Um, I probably could have trimmed them just a little bit more. They're already on, so that is okay. I'm just going to let that sit just a second. But look at the difference that it makes in your eye. Just having a little false lash on. Especially when you're doing a dramatic look like this. Um, I love a big dramatic eye right now and a nude lip. Um, perfect for fall. You can do different fall colors if you didn't want to use blacks and grays like this. You could do like all chocolate browns and like a really pretty olive green or an army green, which I have one. It would be so pretty to do a smoky eye with. I might have to do that same, but look. Look how pretty. It does. It looks brighter on here, but that would be really pretty. Um, doing some smoky eyes, but I probably made that look too easy for you guys where I'm do it all the time. <laughs> But that's all you really do. That's not, they're not hard once you get the hang of it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one. I'm going to put that there. I can't not make the mascara face. Get my real lashes to blend up in there. Now, do you guys have any questions? about anything I've done so far or if you just got on here having questions about anything I'll probably go back over that to hide that with some eyeliner here in a minute I got it glued a little bit higher than my line 
That's okay. We'll just blend that in. And just like that, you kind of can't tell they're there. I think it's important to kind of blend them in. You can still kind of tell. I'm going to have to go back and make that line a little bit thicker in just a second. But, but that's really, that's it. It's super easy. Um, I'm going to get off here and do the other eye because there's no way I can do that. And you guys still see with the way my setup is right now. But um, if you have questions, message me. Um, if you need to know where you can get some of this stuff or the best process to get some of the things to start out with and try. Um, just message me and let me know. And we can get you um, set up in the right direction. Once you get some lashes, like if you just wanna to go to Target or Walmart or wherever and get you some and you get set up, if you want to FaceTime with me, we can do that. And I'll, I'll walk you through it while you're doing it if you want to do that. So just message me if you need help with them. And guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish this eye and then I will um, post an after picture. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.